Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a 12 by 12 canvas boop, 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 that I spray painted with brown. It's called brown metallic, I think. Something like that. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do. So I have it all primed ready. I mixed up my resin. I am using East Coast resin one to one. I'll show you real quick. One to one. Okay, so four ounces of the resin and four ounces of the hardener mixed for four, three minutes. I forgot to put gloves on. Okay, grab them real quick and I'll be good. Where are my tongue deep pressers? Okay, got them. Thought I had everything close nearby, you know. No, it doesn't work like that. Life isn't that easy. So I have my resin mixed up. I'm gonna use some white. Put a little bit in the cup. And I have, it's called Copper Penny. Copper Penny. It's called Mica Powder. It shimmers, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So much the same color as this, just a little different. Should have used that for that one, huh? Okay, we're just gonna stir these up really good. See all the powder flying everywhere, even though I put the mica on the bottom. Still flies everywhere. That's why you want to wear a face mask. Okay. A little bit of gold in there. A little scoop. gold everywhere. I don't care if I put the mica on top or the mica on the bottom. It gets everywhere. I'll lay some clear down. You're gonna make it body. He's old. He's an old man. He's my mascot. Duke my mascot. He's getting old though. I think Great Danes live between six to nine. He'll be 10 in August if he makes it that far. I don't know. He's starting to show his age, poor guy. Oh, baby. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just throw it on there. Okay, because it will self-level itself out and all that. A little bit more on the ends and then we'll be good. Edges, edge, whatever. Got that one, got that one. A little bit over here. Okay. Perfecto. You're right. I am going to put just a little tiny bit of rubbing alcohol. I don't know if you guys can see that in the white, just a little, little tiny bit, because that thins it out. Gives it more of a webbing effect. I think it does. You know what? Okay, so I'm gonna pour the brown up top. Some white. Oops, didn't mean to pour that much. Some more brown. And some more white. And I think I'll save the gold, huh? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just put a little bit right here. Right in the middle. 
I guess we could put a little bit right here. Right on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna get my heat done. So apparently I didn't mix my uh, mica up too good because I got clumps everywhere. And that's what happens when you got clumps. You don't want clumps. And I got one big one right there. down again. Pretty, huh? Pretty, pretty. Matter, buddy. Huh? You got problems over there, buddy? He's my good boy. I think it needs some other color to break it up. Uh, I think it does. I really truly do. But well, I think we'll leave it like this. I don't know. Come on, gold. Come on out. Go out in there. This is clear. Now I'm going to get my brown and pour that right over the top of that. And follow that line, what I did. Hopefully I get a 3D effect by it. Doesn't mean it will. Ah, oh, my face mask. Oh no. That's why I hate using these little cups. Pain in my ass. It's what they are. Sorry for the language, but they really are a pain in my ass. Okay. I'm gonna heat this up a little bit better, just so it runs a little bit better. Dust. Dust here. This reminds me of a fried egg right there. <laughs> sure does. I'm gonna put some brown in there. Get rid of that fried egg look. Yeah. Maybe just drop more white. Heat that up a little bit.
like that clear in the center. It does give it a 3D effect. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, so anyway, I looked at it and it moved a lot. It moved a little bit too much and the colors kind of muted together. So I mixed up some orange just a little bit just to give it something a little bit different. It needs a little pop of something. I don't know. I think this might give it to me. I think it just needs that pop of color. Little pop of something. Add a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. Let's hope it's good, right? Okay. So anyway, I looked at it and it moved a lot. It moved a little bit too much, and the colors kind of muted together. So I mixed up some orange just a little bit. Just to give it something a little bit different, it needs a little pop of something. I don't know. I think this might give it to me. I think it just needs that pop of color. Just a little pop of something. bit more okay I think that's good okay all right now I like it now I'm gonna take the camera down Okay, so here's the finished piece. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go up close so you guys can see it. I'm trying to have the light on it so it shimmers a little bit so you can see the shimmer in it. I love it. I love the movement of all the paint and the texture. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. This is my favorite part right here. I'm gonna try to get close up for you. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Thanks so much for watching everybody.